Hello everyone. This question appears in class 6 NCERT chapter of fraction. This is 6th question of its exercise 7.4. So the question says that the following fractions represent just three different numbers. Separate them into three groups of equivalent fractions by changing each one of its simplest form. So firstly, I say simplest form of convert. So part A is 2 by 12. 2 by 12. So 2 seconds out of 1 time and 6 times. 1 by 6. 3 by 15. So, you have 3 seconds left, 1 time and 15. 5 times. So, you have 1 by 5. See, 8 by 50. So, 2 seconds left, 4 time and 25 times. So, fraction is 4 by 25. Part D is 16 by 100. So you have 4 seconds left to 4 times and 100 to 25 times. So fraction to 4 by 25. 10 by 60. So 0 is 0 cancel out to Jaga. So the fraction is 1 by 6. 15 by 75. So 15 seconds out of 15 is so 1 time and 75 5 times. So they are 1 by 5. 12 by 60. So you have 12 seconds out of 1 time. Are 60. 12 by 60. So 12 is so 1 time and 60 cancel out of 12 is so 5 times. So fraction will be 1 by 5. 16 by 96. So 16 seconds left to jaga one time and 96 cancel out to jaga six times. So fraction of jaga one by six. Twelve by twelve by seventy-five. So, 3 seconds left, 3 say 4 times and 3 say 2 times, then 5 times. So, fraction of the other pass 4 by 25. Then, option J is 12 by 72. 12 seconds left, 1 time and 72 cancel out, 6 times. So, fraction will be 1 by 6. Part K is 3 by 18. The 3 seconds left, 1 time and 18 cancel out, 6 times. So fraction is 1 by 6 and L 4 by 25. So here further cancel out. Yoga. So this is the simplest form. So we will say the following fraction represent just three different numbers. Separate them into three groups of equivalent fractions by changing each one of its simplest form. So three groups we will get. 1 by 6, 1 by 5, and 4 by 25. So, we check the equivalent friction. So, firstly, for 1 by 6, A, E, H, J, and K. For 1 by 5, B, F, G, and next for 4 by 25. So there are D, I, and L. So that's our final answer. Thank you.